Hello, welcome back to Pink Word Tarot. My name is Z. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. So as you can tell by the title, it's Urgent Messages for Capricorn. I hope that they resonate with you guys, but unfortunately, they will not apply to everyone that is watching. Now, if you are interested in a personal read, I'm currently having a sale on my spread readings that I do offer. So right now, they are half off, which means they're only $30. So you can get a current energy reading, a finances and career read, singles love reading if you're single, single, specific person love reading if you are dealing with someone you're trying to figure out like what's going on the connection or you could just be like unsure about a person that you are dealing with um if you do have like certain questions that you do do need answer i do have separate prices for those but yeah um you can look in the description box below for my information you can use the links on my website to submit your info or you can just simply email me and you don't have to do anything you guys when you book a reading like i'm doing all the work so you don't have to do anything okay if you um, never got a personal read done before, but basically it's just like a voice recording um, audio message that's attached to an email along with the pictures included for your read. So yeah, what urgent messages do you have for Capricorn? And this is for the remaining days of September up into October so that I can get a head start on October reads for you guys. But yeah, but this could have already happened or could be currently going on or could potentially happen for someone. What urgent messages do you have for Capricorn for the end of September to October, please? Okay, one card. Okay, so we got making moves that showed up. Making moves, it does say make your next move your best move. Some of you guys could be uh, some of you guys could be about to make some moves, right? It's saying to watch your mouth. with this watch your mouth card um for some of you guys it's like maybe you could be needing to like watch what you say about these moves that you could be um wanting to make also too i feel like um uh, for some people now if you have like you could be talking about making these moves but you ain't did nothing so it's like you know if you're gonna talk about it then be about it okay <laughs> so let's see what else comes out yeah so watch your mouth wanting to, sh to pop out y'all look so yeah, let's see what else comes up here. And this could definitely be in regards to like business or career. Some of you guys could be wanting to like in, in, uh, reinvent yourself. Um, so you could definitely be about to make some moves in regards to that and saying to like, you know, watch your mouth about saying it as well. Um, almost like don't really speak about it, but my card moving silence didn't show up, show up. So let's see what comes out here what urgent messages do you have for capricorn let's see what urgent messages do you have for capricorn for the end of september to october okay so oh you guys got some good news that showed up here and we do have a proof that showed up so two cards fell out. Some of y'all could be like really excited or you're about to be like really excited about this good news. Um, some of y'all could have gotten approved for something here. Um, let me get one more. Give me one more for Capricorn for their urgent messages. Yeah, so it could be like a creative endeavor here for you guys. Because we got create on the card. I put like life is a blank canvas. So... Oh, also, too, for some of you guys, you could be needing to watch your mouth. Like, maybe you are speaking negative here about um, something. Like, if it, it feels like it could be, like, career or work-related. But let's see what else comes up here. I'm going to use another Oracle deck, and then I'm going to pull some cards. What urgent messages do you have for Capricorn for the end of September to October? Okay, so it could be new love for somebody, y'all. Look, we got new love that showed up. What urgent messages do you have for Capricorn for the end of September to October, please? So we got free will. So for some of you guys, yeah, um, whatever this move that you could be wanting to make, it's like maybe you're talking about it. Maybe you have not did it yet um, here, but it looks like there's going to be some good news or like a good outcome to the situation. And it looks like you're going to be like really happy here or excited about um this situation here like this good news what urgent messages do you have for capricorn 
toward the end of okay we got release and surrender that showed up here some of y'all could be needing to like release um some things here as well um but I feel like too, it's like surrendering to the, the outcome. That's what it feels like. Some of you guys could be needing to talk to your guys, possibly about making some moves here as well. Like, what's your next move? What other urgent messages you got for? Oh, yeah. New beginnings and opportunity showed up. Some of you guys need to raise your vibration here as well. But I feel like whatever this good news is that's coming in, it's like someone could definitely be in a... a um, some news or communication in regards to them being approved for something um but it's definitely a new beginning opportunity that's showing up for someone it's saying to raise your vibration because you guys could be waiting and maybe it does have you kind of like vibing low because you're waiting to hear some good news it's saying go ahead and raise your vibrations because you're gonna be happy here with this good news that's showing up give me one more for Capricorn. I'm going to use my Kipper deck just to see like what the good news could be for someone. Tell me about, I mean, um, give me one more here for Capricorn's urgent message. Yeah, unseen blessing, y'all. Look. Well, you, you guys probably can't see the words because they're white, but like it's saying to have faith here in this situation, Capricorn, because there's an unseen blessing that, that you can't quite see. Some of you guys could be needing to release something in order to make a move, but maybe you're afraid to um, to release this. Use your intuition about whatever this is and use your intuition in regards to like um, your next move. Because on the card I put, I'm, I'm not sure if I had said it already, but I put make your next move your best move. So yeah, you could be needing to use your intuition here. It's like maybe you don't have all the facts to y'all, but it's just like if you move like intuitively, like how you feel, then it's going to work out. So let's see. I'm going to pull some cards first. And then we're going to, I'm going to go into the Kipper deck to see what the good news could be for someone. Tell me about making moves for Capricorn. What's this? Yeah, judgment. Some of y'all are. It's, it's like you're you're about to be making a decision. Use your intuition here with judgment showing up. Um, in regards to taking a leap of faith, like follow your gut and follow your heart here as well. Uh oh. Tell me about making moves for a Capricorn. Yeah, so it looks like you guys are moving on from a situation. If you were in some challenging times, y'all, is you're moving on from that. Like, things are definitely looking up for you. So you guys could be moving on from some type of conflict here as well. Some of you guys could be needing to make a decision here about relocating or, like, some type of travel. Like, where you're currently at, you could be needing to, like, move away from that situation or that place. Tell me about watch your mouth for a Capricorn, please. Tell me about watch your mouth for Capricorn. So we got the Emperor card that showed up here. It looks like for some of y'all, you're needing to take charge here of this situation. Because it's almost like it's up to you on whether or not you're going to be making this next move. That's what it looked like. And it's like you have a choice. So it's like you guys are needing to like get into this emperor type of energy. Like boss up. Like go ahead and make. Like go ahead and choose. Yeah. So we got the knight of wands that wanted to fly out. It didn't clarify nothing y'all. But it's saying to take action here on something. And trust your instincts. Like pay attention, pay attention to how you feel. So let's see. Tell me about good news for Capricorn, please. Okay. So yeah, you. It looks like you guys could have. Um, it looks like you guys could have been going through some uh, some challenges here. You're about to overcome this challenge. We got the Seven of Wands that showed up. Like continue to stand your ground. And we got Justice that showed up here as well. So it looks like something's going to go in your favor here or things are like balancing out here for you. It 
And some of y'all are needing to believe and like have faith and like this move or like this decision that you're, yeah, because look, we got the Nine of Swords that showed up here. Like for some of y'all, you, you could be like afraid or there's like fear surrounding this situation, but you can't really see that like it's an unseen blessing here that showed up. Tell me more. Oh, actually, tell me about approve. Tell me about approve for Capricorn, please. So we got the Seven of Cups that showed up here. It looks like you guys are needing to make a choice. This has already been, I feel like somebody's trying to get more information here about this situation here as well. It's like whenever you receive this good news, um, it's been approved by the universe, basically. So, for some of you guys, it's like you need to, like, go ahead and make a choice. You could be procrastinating as well. You could be confused. Some of you guys could be needing to meditate here about this before you make this move. Tell me about release and surrender here for Capricorn. Tell me about release and surrender for Capricorn, please. Yeah, so it looks like you guys could definitely be procrastinating, y'all, in regards to moving forward. So we got the hangman that showed up. It's like maybe you are waiting for some type of clarity here as well. Tell me about new beginnings and opportunities. Okay, so this could be about new love for someone, y'all. New love showed up twice, but this could be, it's general. So it could be in regards to business or career for someone. But I do see where somebody's single, single. Um, you could be having a new beginning or an opportunity in regards to love. Look, Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, a single, single. So let's see. So yeah, for the new beginnings and opportunities, it could be in regards to, um, to love here for somebody. Tell me more about new beginnings and opportunities for Capricorn. Yeah, you guys have mental conflict here in regards to, I feel like um, now I'm not really sure if you're the one who's giving an offer or receiving one. It could, the roles could be reversed here, but I do see where somebody, <laughs> the way it's showing up here, I'm gonna see. If somebody does not trust this offer that's showing up. So you could have received the offer or you could be given one. But like somebody like uh, uh you could be feeling like like maybe you could be unsure about the person's intentions or someone's unsure about your intentions basically. Tell me about unseen blessing that shows up here. Some of you guys could be getting a new job opportunity and new love the way it's showing up here. Cause on the card it says new beginnings and opportunities. So it could be um in regards to like certain areas of your life. Tell me about Unseen Blessing. So we got the Seven of Swords that showed up here. And it's clarifying Unseen Blessing. <clears throat> For some of you guys, you could have dealt with some type of, uh, I feel like somebody could be still connected to this person, y'all. It's someone that you're close to. This could be romantic, but with the two of cups, it could be like, it's an emotional bond basically that you have with someone. Could be a family member, a friend. It's someone that you're close to. It does look like either you left this person or they left you or something. You, they could have ghosted you, but really it's like a, that's like an unseen blessing. You could be not really seeing. You could be like focused on the negative part of that. Um, let me see what this is. Tell, tell me about the seven of swords. It could be, ooh. Now, I'm a cancer now, but <laughs> it could be a water sign for somebody. <laughs> and it looks like it's the female energy showing up here. So, like, yeah, this person could have been deceptive to you or they could have been lying or not being honest. Oh, that has showed up to y'all. So, because, like, some people was commenting, yeah, this is like a romantic situation, but not all the way. It could be, like, in regards to, like, work and career, honestly. But somebody was dealing with... A water sign, okay? 
you could have moved on from this person but it looks like they is like a little sneaky here but i see where someone's moving on from that situation y'all tell me more about this seven of swords please oh yeah either you or this other person here could be could have been like i feel like the female y'all could have been juggling more than one person but i feel like maybe somebody made uh, um now you could have made an offer here a romantic gesture but it's almost like maybe you felt rejected from this person y'all but it's really that's like the unseen blessing behind whatever this is It could have been some type of work situation here too. Yeah, it's saying to use your intuition. Some of you guys could be wanting to go back on. Somebody wants to like um, go back to a water sign that they were dealing with. But I feel like the female was like cheating on the person y'all with. The high priestess here, use your intuition here uh, when you make this move. Let's see, I'm gonna use my um, Kipper deck real quick. Tell me about the good news here for Capricorn. What in the world? Tell me about good news for Capricorn, please. Tell me about good news. What's the good news for Capricorn? Oh, that something ended. Yeah, it looks like for some of you guys, it's almost like by you making a decision about ending a situation or like possibly moving on from a situation it's like even though it ended or that situation is dead because we got coffee that showed up it's dead dead but that's good news tell me more about this good news yeah so it could be in regards someone someone could have ended a marriage but we got mature men that showed up here. So it, it looks like it's the mask. I, I don't know why I feel like I'm talking to like a Capricorn male about a female, like a water sign female. But that could just be like for one person. Tell me more. And that, I have felt like that in the last Capricorn reading. If you haven't seen that one, if you're just discovering me, check the playlist. Um, each sign on the, the channel has their own playlist. You can binge watch all of the readings. So yeah. Um... But look at the last one that I did for Capricorn. Tell me more about this good news for Capricorn. Oh, ooh, y'all. So it's the car is not lying, okay? Somebody was dealing with someone like at work, or it's like a it's a false person, it's a female for sure that they was dealing with. You could have felt rejected, but it's saying like no, that was like everything happened for a reason yeah that situation is dead or you're needing to end that and i don't know why i feel like it was a mature man dealing with a younger woman tell me more about good news for capricorn please oh so we got marriage so something could have happened here in regards to it, like a marriage for someone or it could just be like a relationship, y'all, because like everybody ain't married. Um, but yeah, marriage showed up here for someone. Tell me about unseen blessing for Capricorn. How many minutes I got? Okay, we got 18. Tell me about unseen blessing for Capricorn. Tell me about unseen blessing. Somebody's health was, um, whatever the situation was, y'all, it seemed like it's a romantic situation. It was affecting somebody's health. And I don't know why I feel like it's like an older male, male y'all. Tell me more. So it's like, if you had to leave one thing here, you have like some, like a new beginning or opportunity that's showing up. Tell me more about Unseen Blessing for Capricorn. Yeah, you could have definitely felt um, left out in the cold here. I do see where um, it's something dealing with like a living situation here as well for someone. But it looks like you guys are going to get some type of message here. Tell 
Tell me about new beginnings and opportunities here for Capricorn, please. Tell me more about new beginnings and opportunities. Yeah, so it's a new relationship for someone. Especially if you was dealing with someone here. It, it's a female, y'all. I'm sorry, but look, ain't nobody perfect, but like... Sometimes it usually be just like the males being deceptive, but this time it's the female. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a new relationship for someone. So it's a good thing that things didn't work out with you and a person. Give me one more. Yeah, so courtship wanting to pop out. So it's like your um, things are going to be going in your favor here capricorn but look we got courtship and gifts so it's like you're being gifted with a new person that's what it looks like for someone and the roles could be reversed like you could be a female capricorn watching this and maybe you was dealing with a water sign or whatever a sign it's just letting you know that um that things are going to work out in your favor here and this new um beginning here this new partnership is approved by the universe because somebody was dealing with a false person here but yeah, I'm going to leave the read here. I hope that it was helpful to you guys. Of course, you can leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe as well.